but it is fact the solar eruption bombarding earth and it's the biggest solar radiation storm in more than eight years jackie jarris is here to tell us about this and the effects from it i mean the pictures are sure amazing they're they beautiful are. hard to believe something from 93 million miles away can have an impact here on earth can it check out the pictures this was a huge uh, solar flare and a cme or a coronal mass ejection as we call it imagine it as a huge burp of gas really uh, that comes off the surface of the sun creates solar wind and heads towards the earth's atmosphere and it comes in at us in the weak spot so that's around the poles now yesterday uh, really this thing peaked and so from, some flights were diverted away from the poles because of concerns for radiation and there are also some issues uh, apparently with GPS and satellite service but nothing major has been reported that's the good news the bad news is it's not completely over and done with just yet the solar alert remains in effect through today but it's been downgraded so it's down to moderate so what does that mean is there anything uh, you need to be concerned about well passengers still in high-flying aircraft could be exposed to radiation, but the farther north up you go towards the pole, that's where that's going to be. So if you're flying across the U.S., we think you're going to be A-OK -okay there today. And as for satellite and GPS reception, well, it's going to be really kind of isolated, single incidents. So basically, for the most part, this thing is over and done with. And the biggest impact that we had from it overall, Aurora Borealis. So it was a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular display. Take a look at some of these pictures. The best pictures that we've seen so far have come from places like Norway and from Sweden. This is from an ice hotel, a snow tell, uh, as they call it in Sweden, and just amazing. So you get all these like electrically charged particles here. They come shooting into the Earth's atmosphere, and as they interact with our gases, it creates this beautiful light show. And so things have been really quiet with the sun as of late. Things are just starting to pick up a little bit and we're expected to see increases in solar activity through 2013 when it's expected to peak. Wow. All right, Jackie. Thanks so much. Sure.